Hey everyone, this is Nick here. Uh, today I want to show you how a half and how a full adder works. Uh, one of my subscribers asked for it, so here it is. Um, I'm going to show you the basic circuits, how it works, uh, and how to turn a half adder into a full adder, and the concepts behind them. So here we go. Uh, this right here is a half adder. Um, basically, it consists of two components. There's the uh, XOR gate, which means exclusive OR, and there's the AND gate. So, uh, the exclusive OR gate works like this. If you turn uh, one input on, the line will turn on. If you turn it off, it turns back off. Turn the other one, it turns on and off. So that all makes sense. Now, when you turn both on, it turns off. Uh, this is useful because when, for instance, say we're adding, say this is our one bit. So we add one, and we get one as a sum. Okay, well, let's add the other one. We get one as a sum. But now, if we wanted to add two, it has to turn off, because there is no binary number for two. There's only ones and zeros. So what it has to do is it has to carry over. And the only way to do that is to make it so that if both uh, if both lines are on, it carries into an AND gate. Whoops. There we go. So you can see that now, since both are on, we have a carryover. And this would attach into another uh, into an adder, or full adder, and so on. So... Uh, So this is all pretty straightforward. Now there's no we have a carry over, right? But we don't have any carry input, and that's necessary to make a full adder. Otherwise, you know, what is this useful for? So to make a full adder, what we need to do is we need to add another SOR gate, and we also oops, we're also going to need another AND gate that connects with an OR gate, or basically just two wires touching each other. So, here we go. I'll turn this off for now. Alright, so we need another XOR gate. So, my favorite design, definitely not the smallest, but my favorite, is the one that actually looks like an X, that's easy to remember. I don't remember whose video I got this from, but it was, uh, it, it helped me remember, so hopefully that'll work for you too. So, um, it, it works like this, there's five torches, you make an X shape, you bring out two uh, squares from either side, you put the five torches down just like this, dust, 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 and right here. And this is our new sum. Actually, let me move this forward just a little bit. Uh, we might need some more space than that, now that I think about it. Oops. There we go. Alright, so, uh, the reason we need more space than that is that we don't only have one AND gate anymore. Now we need to have two AND gates. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, one of our, the other input to our auxiliary is going to be our carry on over. Normally this would come from this over here, but we'll, we can just simulate that with another block. Alright, there we go. So, now this is nearly complete, but we need another AND gate to, uh, to make this work properly. So here we go, we just bring these down over here, and bring this here. And there you go. So now, this is our output, and this is our sum. Um, and yeah, you can see the difference between a half adder and a full adder. It's nearly the same thing, we're just adding a few more components to uh, give it that input from the uh, carryover. So you can see it works exactly the same. Uh, I'm just going to have to fly over and show you the inputs here. So you can see that it's on right now. It's over there. Off. On. Off. And then if you have them both on, it turns off, and our carryover activates. So that's exactly how the last one worked. Now, uh, the, the carry input is basically the same thing. It's like, if you pretend this block wasn't here, it works nearly the same way. Which is good. That's basically exactly how we want it to work. So, um, the difference is when we add all three together, they will both actually turn on. Because, uh, if you think about it, if we add 1 plus 1 plus 1, yeah, 1 plus 1 plus 1, uh, then we want the sum, then it's in, then that, uh, in binary, that's a 2 and a 1. So, uh, that becomes, this is our sum right here, so this is our 1, and then our carryover, and this would be, since this is 1, this is, would be our second bit, so then we would have 1 plus 2, which is 3. So this worked exactly how you think it would.
So uh, if you have any more questions based on adders or full adders or anything, uh, feel free to ask me. Um, he also wanted, the, my, the person who asked for this also wanted a uh, subtractor tutorial, and I will be working on that soon. I need to learn how it actually works myself first. Um, I may or may not link link another one in the description uh, out of your curiosity. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how that works. So, oh, and then this is right here, my three wide stackable, tileable one that I needed for uh, <laughs> that over there. I will be showing you guys that in another video. It's not quite done yet. Actually, you know, I'll give you a preview. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, three wide. It, it takes inputs from up and down. It works the same way. This is the output right here. It took me quite a while to design that, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm not very good at compacting redstone. But uh, here you go. So this is something I've been working on for a little while now. And it actually works on servers. I tested that too, so it's pretty cool. And it's also the fastest probably that you'll see. You won't really be able to see the speed of it in this demo. It'll probably look rather slow. But when you get up to higher numbers like 99 plus, you know, 7 or something. It can only go up to 112 right now, so. I'm trying to make it go up to 128, but that's kind of difficult. But yeah, so if I do, you know, 8. Oh yeah, and then I have to store it. Uh, This is all optional, by the way, this part right here. I could just make it instant, but... I chose not to. So you can see 8 pops up on the screen. Switch numbers, and let's add it to, like, 6. Store. Yeah. So you can see that took, you know, for for small numbers like those, it took kind of a little while, but, uh, yeah, so that works. But, yeah, I, I will be making another video on this because there's a lot to explain, and it's not quite done, like I said. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if enough people ask for it, I can put my world up for download. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it might be useful. Uh, I have a couple different things going on here. Alright, well, thanks for watching everybody. I uh, hope you learned a little bit. Hopefully next time I can get to you on some tractors and other components of this. Yeah, that's the other thing. is Somebody from Reddit wanted me to make uh, videos on how all the components work in uh, this circuit here. So I'll be doing that as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.